Joining us now from the CAA champion Drexel Dragons, head coach Amy Mallon and junior guard Amaris Baker. Uh, Amy, first, congratulations on the win. Uh, how incredible were the last few days from where you were standing? Well, I mean, it's like, you know, you, you talk about being resilient and being in a position in March to, to be a dangerous team. And I feel like we proved that um, in the last four days. You know, we came in with the mentality that, you know, one possession at a time. And really, it was one game at a time. And this this squad, I, I think they surprised everybody. I don't think they surprised me as much. I knew it was in them. But um, the fact they were able to do that and do it in four days and, and beat the teams we did and finishing it off with Stony Brook, who, who's just an excellent team. You know, they by far had a great great season but um this team so resilient and uh Amaris Baker sitting next to me uh, which is so exciting a local kid um you know we had a fortunate um opportunity to, to get Amaris this year on our roster and what a difference maker she was especially in the last four days so just so excited for this team you know excited for Drexel University to be able to rep represent them in March Madness so Amy this is your second trip to the tournament as head coach you went back in 2021 what do you think you can take from that experience then into this one now well i think the first it was you know obviously a unique situation because it was our covid season so i said one thing is going to be nice we're actually going to get a chance to um, leave the hotel and actually see some things while we're there but i think what you what you take with that is um you know some coaches and some players um go a lifetime without this opportunity you know to, to go to march madness and so each for each person it's unique and for for me and for this team um, it's going to be an experience that they're going to remember for a lifetime. So um, at the same time, we're going to go in and we're going to approach it like we have done everything with every game and be disciplined in what we do. And we're going to come out fighting and, and be the toughest team on the court that day and um, see see where that leads us. But we're just so excited, I think, um, for this opportunity to, to get a chance to play again. All right, let's turn to one of the stars of the show. Amaris, are you exhausted after that run? Are you ready to go a few more rounds maybe? Um, I'm not exhausted. I still got a whole bunch of juice left in me. I'm just super <laughs> excited. <laughs> so why do you think everything clicked right now with you and your teammates? What what led to this amazing run through the tournament? Um, the togetherness, the resilience that we all have um, with e within each other, the confidence. So I mean, we've been rolling. So it, we're not stopping. Yeah, I'm guessing that you don't want this thing to end anytime soon. No. All right, Amy, you're going to face Texas in Austin. It's a tall task. You're a 16 seed against the one. But what's your message going to be ahead of the game? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, going into a game like this, an opportunity to play against Texas number one seed, again, how many people have an opportunity to do that? You know, when you play on the team, you're going to play one of the best teams in the country. So um, that's when you're a player and you want to compete, you, you always want to have an opportunity to compete against the best. So we're going to have the opportunity. And I think, um, you know, I think we're going to give them our best shot. I think that's what we always do when we step on the floor. So, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back to Texas. Uh, and we, we said we're going to have an opportunity to keep marching. And I think that's been our goal since day one. So uh, we will definitely show up and I know we'll make Philadelphia proud. All right, this is for both of you. Either one of you can answer it, but I want you to give your best plea to, to Drexel Nation from coast to coast to get down to Austin, cheer this team on, and get you guys to the next round. What's your, what's your elevator pitch here? Dragons are real. You need to come support us, and we're not stopping. We're going to keep on marching. We're here for a reason. Amy? I, I I, I kind of go right on that. You know, I said we, we were picked number seven this year in the conference. You know, we finished number seven. But right now we think uh, seven is pretty a pretty lucky number. So we'll call ourselves lucky l lucky seven right now. So I'd say this is a team that people want to see because, you know, we weren't picked to really do anything. Even all conference selections, we, we had nobody represented. But as a team, I think we showed um, our best in, in the time when we needed to. So come out, support this group. They're, they're great. Uh, group, they're going to fight. I think you're going to love the way we play when you see us on the floor, and, and we're going to fight until the end, and that's what we do and we'll continue to do. Amy Mallon, Amaris Baker, good luck. Enjoy the game. You're making Philly proud. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Go Dragons. All right, we want you to join the CBS Philadelphia Bracket Challenge. There is a $1,000 grand prize at stake. Head to cbsphiladelphia.com slash bracket challenge.